lovely little salt and pepper pots here. Um, hey, hey, that is a salt. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over a few pieces that I picked up from the charity shops today. I've decided that no matter how big or small the haul, whether I've captured the footage of me actually finding the stuff or not, I'm going to do a haul video for you. Keeps me in the loop. And it's also very good to see what other people are picking up and it may inspire some of you to pick up some different things too. I know that when I watch your guys' videos, which is becoming less frequently at the moment, don't have the time, which I'm... Bit of a hypocrite asking you to continue watching my videos and I'm not watching everyone else's. But it is the way that it is for now. I'm still I'm still dipping in and out. But whenever I watch other people's videos, I always find something that I've never picked up before. And I think I'll grab that next time. So we don't have anything extra special, extra fantastic here. No big money makers. Well, one of them possibly. I'd never seen it before, but I took a punt. Taking a punt is always good. But your classic stuff. So I went to... Six or seven charity shops today, most of my local ones. I say local, we have to, I have to drive quite far in between to pick them up. I've left my notifications on again. Oh well. So I'm going to go through today what I picked up, tell you what I paid for it, and what I think to get back. I haven't researched any of this stuff yet, price-wise, so I might do it while we're on the video. But I want to try and keep this video as fluid as possible for you guys. So in no particular order, the first thing I'm going to show you are some DS games. Now, these were a pound each. Picked them up because of the price without researching. This one does say demo just there, but I'm not too sure if that's if it means it's a demo game or if it's called Demo Hunters. Like, I'm not a gamer, um, but they had the manuals and stuff and there was a quid. There's nothing that says anything about it being a demo on the, on the case. Um, Price-wise, I will have a quick look actually, and I'll probably cut a little picture in here somewhere. So, next one, not worth a lot. Asphalt Urban GT, again, I only picked it up because it was a pound. Uh, worst case scenario, if I ever get a DS bundle, I can sling these into, into it. So, that, so today I picked up some Nintendo DS bundle games. <laughs> Not worth too much at all, but for a pound, I'll never leave them behind because that two pound I've spent may increase the price of a bundle by five or six pounds. Always a winner. So they can go up into my never going to list pile up there, which is growing a lot. Um, I picked this up yesterday, but it was still in my car from yesterday. So I might as well show you Rubik's Clock. I believe these are 86, 88. Um, I had these around the house when I was a kid, never knew what they were for, never understood them. As I've gotten older, I know what they are, they're an absolute mission. So what you're supposed to do, if you don't know, oh, I'm not sure if that's still factory sealed or not. Or if it's just St Michael's sellotape, happy, happy, customer, happy staff slapping it on. Okay, so the whole idea behind this is... <laughs> is to get these all to point in the same direction. But as you spin one, I'm gonna push this, I'm gonna push that out. YouTube it, Google it, Google Rubik's clock and see how they work. My God. Anyway, um, I think I think these still go for about 15 quid. I paid two pound for that. Uh, let's have a look. This is why you shouldn't, um, shouldn't test things live. I'm not live, but you know what I mean? When I'm filming. Let's have a look, see what they're selling for. Uh, £10 plus postage, £10 plus postage, £12 plus postage, £15 plus postage. Yeah, I'm going to aim for about £14.99 on that. Get it in, get it out, get it gone. It's by Matchbox. Everybody knows Matchbox. Um, nice little pickup there. Easy peasy, especially at, especially at two quid. Um, Rawlings Catching Mitt. This is a youth, I believe. Nine inch. I'd imagine it's a youth uh, first in the field. It's in very good condition. Paid £2.50 for it. Not worth too much. Probably about 15, 16 quid if that. Um, I did look at that one on the on, in the car this morning. 
Um, I'm really not saving anything best till last here. Picked up two caps. Uh, I think these are Falcons. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just using my initiative. I'm assuming these are NFL Falcons. Maybe. They're flexi fit. They um, So basically there's no adjustable at the back. So you have to pick the right size. Paid a pound each. Can't argue with that, can you? I should imagine probably 15 quid a piece. Maybe more BNZ Sport. Who knows? Who knows what the team's doing? Um, and then I picked up these. These were an absolute bargain. Um, these are JT Racing. Racing trousers. Uh, size 32 in fantastic Barely worn, if at all, condition. Seven pound, half price sale, three pounds and fifty pence. Fantastic, aren't they? I believe you can actually put the padding and stuff in. None of got pockets for the sides. Um, but for three pounds fifty, I didn't even need to research them, did I? I would imagine they smell brand new. Probably twenty-five quid, but for three pounds fifty. Had to be done, didn't it? Had to be bought. Uh, this is quite cool. 60s, 70s looking ice bucket. I love ice buckets. Um, especially like the... Can you hear that? It's like a train board on my drive. Especially like the uh, novelty looking ones. In selects. Let's have a look. That's my Hermes man. It'll probably just walk straight through the door to be fair. It will just open my garage. The Hermes man. No, he's knocked on the door. Strange. Inselex ice buckets, retro 60s and 70s. Oh, I'm clever. I've had a new offer come through. Um, they're going for about £12.99 plus postage. So for £2, I'll bang it up for £14.99. Free shipping. Get it out the door. Okay, next. These were quite cool. I don't know what brand they are. They're salt and pepper dispensers. Now, I'll say dispensers because all you do is... It's like a jab. Whoop, 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 what that mean? Um, but as you push the bottom in it's got like rivets on the inside I don't know if i can put it up close enough it probably won't focus can you see that so it grinds the salt and the pepper it hits the what okay. is it what is it bubble wrap maybe is it massive yeah bubble wrap yeah, i'll grab it in a second cheers so as you grind <laughs> i've had bubble wrap come in so as you grind the salt and pepper it catches onto these bits at the bottom here and just drops down so that's how it dispenses onto your um your dinner not sure what they're worth. I will clean them up and have a little look. There might be a name somewhere. If I have a look. Nope, can't see anything. They're very heavy. I just thought they were nice. They're a pound, pound for a pair, so I had to pick them up really, didn't I? Um, some more clothing. This really caught me out. This really, really caught me out. So, okay. Got excited. Look at the label, looks old, doesn't it? Made in the UK, a nice old graphic, Levi's college chinos. Um, it, it is double stitch, so that uh, immediately I was like, hmm, odd. It looks like it might be modern. There is Pete, I've seen one sell on Depop for nine quid. Had to have a quick look at that one while I was in the car, of course. But I don't know if anybody can shed any light onto that. It's got a nice thick neckline, which is very classic of the vintage style. The label looks old, I don't know if they've tried to make it look old or not. Um, but I went absolutely bananas when I saw that in the shop. I just literally grabbed it and ran out. But I don't know. Now there's the back if anybody can shed any light. Nothing like, oh, I can't really show you, but I'll take some pictures. I'll put it on my Instagram. The link will be in the description below as always. How cool is that either way? £2.75 I think that was. Um, from the same shop, I picked up this sick that's what the kids say sick uh quarter zip polo top it is a like an off-white it's double xl so it's a big boy size so sadly i will not be uh trialing that myself i don't think and i think it'd be too baggy for me uh, but that was four pounds and fifty pence Probably about 30 odd quid back on that, 30, 35 pound, I should imagine off the top of my head. Haven't sold one of these for a while now, so I don't really know what the prices are sitting at. Just like anything, prices do fluctuate on clothing, especially coming around for the seasons, but it's, this is this is banging season, isn't it? Um, four pound 50 paid for that. This was cool. This was four pounds 50 again from a different shop, Ducati Airways. Um, full zip, 
some nice big patches on the sides. It's in a you know faded, not mega faded, some marks and stuff. I'm noticing these as I go along. Um, it's in an okay condition. Bit of a pull there where the where the patch is. But for four pounds fifty, somebody has managed to get uh twenty nine ninety nine for one in an in an L. This is again a double XL. Big boy sizes going around today. Um, so I'm going to aim for the same, 29.99. Just just to move it on, I've decided I'm not going to start aiming. I'm not going to aim. I used to aim very very high and be happy to wait. I'm not happy to wait anymore. Move it on. Get it out. This is a cool one. Um, so it's a it's a vintage ashtray. What drew me to it was the fact it had a handle on it. I've never seen this. I've never seen one like this before, ever. It's German by the look of it. I'm not. <sighs> shall I try and pronounce it? I'll hold it up so you can see it as well. Schleicht, Schleicht, not sure. Uh, 20 pounds it was. I got it for half price for 10 pounds, obviously. West Germany, not too sure. I'll have to have a look, see what it's worth. But for 10, I did, I did walk out of the shop and then in my head I was like, it's half price, it's 10 pounds, you need to go and get it. Worst case scenario is I'm going to sell it for after fees and everything, 10 pounds, my money's back. But hopefully it's quite sought after and it's worth a hundred pound. I've seen I've sold Ashes a hundred pounds before. Never one like this, so we'll have to find out, won't we? Uh, last but certainly not least. La la la. Nice pair of trainers. These are Nike Zoom long distance running. Um I picked these up because of the obviously the oh there's a I forgot I bought a CD too. They had loads of these like German, English, Japanese um death metal CDs. This is Japanese. It's a fit. It's by a group called Fitness. It's a pound. There, people have listed them online for forty odd quid. Whether they'll get that or not, who knows? Some more receipts. I've got a big bag of receipts to get through. Oh my god! QuickBooks is a piece of cake, though. So happy day scanning them through. So yeah, I picked up these. Oh, we've got a little carry bag in there as well. That's probably worth some money on its own. Look at that. I like track and field bag. I smell everything. Oh, there's the studs as well. Happy days, resellers. Um, so yeah, these are the Bowerman. Bowerman are very, very good. Oh my God. So these were £12.50. Again, half price. A lot of the shops were half price there, which is fantastic. I'm well happy with that. Now, Peter, if I remember rightly, they were 2003, I'm sure they was. I'm sure that was what I saw on the labs, on the labs, on the label. Yeah, 2003, 15th of the 5th, 2003. So they are just coming up to vintage. Now you have to check for things like this. Um, when trainers, uh, think about the MBT balance. In fact, they're a whole other story. Forget about that for me, they're too complicated. Trainers, believe it or not, when they're not worn, they start to perish. But you can get the same pair of trainers that are the same age that have been worn that won't have perished because they're getting that use, if that makes sense. I can't tell you the scientific facts behind it. You have to do a bit of Googling. But when they've just been sat for ages and ages, they do tend to perish away. These, fantastic. Not a problem at all. Now, they are Nike. They are Bowerman series. They are new in the box. They're an okay size. They're a UK 6.5. And they were cheap. But are they that desirable? I don't know. I really don't know. But I was never leaving them behind for what's up? Where are we? Twelve pound fifty. Um, six pounds something. Come on, six pound twenty-five. Get your maths right, boy. So that's fantastic. So that's what I picked up today. Nothing too spectacular. Nothing too. Uh, nothing's going to change my life. I don't think. Unless that ashtray is going to change my life. I might do a quick research on that um, and add a screenshot in here if I can somewhere. Uh, but that is what I picked up today. I haven't spent too much. 10, 20, 30, maybe 50 odd quid. It's nothing really, is it? I'll, I'll probably get that back on the jumper and the trousers and then the rest of it's all free balling, isn't it? So that's my charity shop haul today. I am going to try and do a couple of these videos um, throughout the week. I used to, the reason why I stopped doing like haul videos Bear in mind, I'm out there all the time buying stuff, all the time. But I feel like people, because I really enjoy seeing the hunt and then getting back and seeing the haul. 
but sometimes I haven't got the time to be filming set of the GoPro, coming back editing it and stuff. So I'm gonna try a few of these, see how they work out, see if you like them or not. If you do, spot on. If not, I'm, I'm, what, what can I say? Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you are all doing very, very well. Um, I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.